there. Before I begin um, showing you connecting the first two squares for this third cube of our folding cube, I'd like to tell you what colors I used for the support. For 1-3, I used the 132F for the seed beads. And I used the 09 for the faceted beads. Now for connecting your squares, you're going to want about 5 feet of monofilament line for working with the uh, faceted beads and three and a half feet of microfilament line for the seed beads. And here are the colors and count for, um, this is for the entire project. And these are the colors we're using when connecting our squares together. Now for um, one three, you want to have it positioned like this there's the black, you can use that as a um, guide for making sure your piece is upright. Now for this piece, it's a little bit more difficult because a lot of the colors are very similar. Um, I recommend that you look at the dark red. Hopefully you can see, let's bring it up a little closer. I'd follow the dark red, which a lot of it is at the bottom of the piece to make sure you have it correct. Also, there's a lot of light topaz up in this corner. And on the seed bead one, the red's a little harder to see, so you might go with the orange, which is more up in the corner here to make sure your piece is laid out correctly. All right, and now we are going to sew, we already, I've already sewn together the two seed bead squares. I'm now going to sew together the two faceted bead squares. So the first thing we want to do is add a bead to our string. So we'll add one bead to our string, let it drop. Then I usually turn making sure to keep the sides we're going to sew together together and then go in the first no, I mean the second and third bead on the bottom of the one and then the second and third bead on the top of the other. Bring the strings together, hold our squares, and there we go. Now we will take another bead, we'll put it on one, then we'll cross with the other, bring our strings together, Slide the bead down. Now with the monofilament, you might want to spread your string apart. It makes it a little easier to slide it down it. And then we're going to go to the fourth and fifth bead on each square. Add another bead and 
across and bring it down. And now we go to the 6th and 7th bead on each square. Something went wrong. We need to take that out. Ah, oh, it wrapped around itself. There we go. Now the other side. speed for this part. Add one, cross with the other. Then we go to the corner bead on each and that sets us in place for when we finish the square we are currently working on. There we have T3 and 1, 3 connected together. And I hope you are enjoying this project. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post. And we will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible.